This tutorial will teach you how to attach documents to resident accounts in OneSite. To begin, open up a resident's account. Once you're in the account, simply navigate to the bottom left panel and find the Attach Document button. In the new window that opens, you'll begin at the Document drop-down list. This list will give you a myriad of options to choose from. Some choices here, such as Certifications HUD, will create a new required field called Attach To. Here you'd decide which packet within OneSite you'd like this new attachment to be associated with. To keep things simple, we'll just attach our item using the document type called Form. This will allow us to attach the document to the resident's general account rather than to a specific item or packet within his account. Selecting Browse will open a new window just like you would see when attaching a file to an email. Locate and select the item you want to attach. We're going to leave the JPEG compression checkbox alone and move right on to the next checkbox. As with all documents that we keep, it is of the utmost importance that we take special care of those that contain personal information. If your document contains any confidential information, such as social security numbers, bank accounts, etc., you must make sure that this box is checked off. Checking this box will encrypt the document so that it will be protected as confidential. Since our document in this example is not confidential, we'll leave this box unchecked. Next, we'll move on to the Notes section where we'll enter a summary of the document. This will make identifying the documents easier when referring back to them in the future. Now we just click the Attach button and the file will be uploaded into OneSite. We can find this document by clicking on the folder icon which appears to the left of the resident's name after their account refreshes. When the folder opens we see a list of files that have been attached to this particular resident. If the status does not say active then we need to use the refresh button to reload the page. With an active document we have a View button which allows us to open and download the attached document. As an alternate method of attaching documents, you can also attach directly to a certain item that's already in the resident's file. For an example, we'll open the resident's certification tab. Here we can click More next to any certification and then click Attach Document. This will open a window just like the first methods only now the first two fields are locked in for you without you needing to change or select anything. All you need to do from here is upload the document just like we did in the first section of this video. This time we've marked that the document contains personal information so that it will be encrypted. When we attach the document we'll see the folder appear to the left of the certification that we attached it to. When we click the folder we can see that it contains the document we just attached and that it's active and ready to view. The document can now be opened in the same fashion as it was in the earlier section of this video. But because this example was encrypted, access will be restricted to managers and select office personnel. All unauthorized viewers will receive a message like this one here. Yet another method would be to begin at the Residence Ledger tab. Here you can click View next to any charge or credit and then click the Attach Documents button. You'll choose from either Photo or Photo of Damages as your document type and upload the item just as we have in the past two examples. Close out and refresh the ledger to see a document icon next to the ledger item you've attached to. Click the icon to open the list of documents attached to that ledger item just as we've done before. Depending on your browser's version and settings, you may need to keep an eye out for pop-ups related to opening the document. Deleting the attachments from a resident's account is as simple as this. Open up the list of documents, click More, then click Delete Document. Click Delete to confirm and the document is gone. 